The sports entertainment world could only brace for impact as Savage and Hogan battled, and when it was over, a common WrestleMania sight was seen. Hulk Hogan celebrating in the ring with the WWE Championship back in his possession. And as the 1980s gave way to the 90s, around the world there was a real sense of looking for the next big thing. The newest, the coolest, the fastest, the strongest, anything to show where the future was. This was also the case in WWE. Amongst the members of the WWE Universe, many saw the Ultimate Warrior as the heir apparent to the throne that Hulk Hogan had occupied for six years. The untamed superstar appeared capable of matching Hogan's strength and had dominated all other opponents. Even that loss we relived at WrestleMania 5 against Rick Rude, yeah, he avenged that just a few months later at SummerSlam, regaining the Intercontinental Championship in the process. But this talk all seemed like fantasy, only existing as a dream match. Hogan and Warrior weren't enemies, and for either of them to turn against the other would run against the strict codes of honor to which both men claimed to adhere. All of that changed in the 1990 Royal Rumble match. It was brief, but for a moment, the only two men in the ring were, you guessed it, Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. The crowd went nuts, and these two stared at each other for a minute before circling up. Two running tackles led nowhere, and then a double clothesline floored both men, ending things before they could really get started between the two. That small taste, though, was all the world of sports entertainment needed to know that they wanted more. Even more interesting, it would be Hulk Hogan who would challenge the Ultimate Warrior to a contest at WrestleMania 6. Ultimate Warrior, me and my Hulkamaniacs put the championship on the line. Hogan openly stated that he needed to know which power was truly the strongest in WWE, his or that of the Warrior. Adding to the stakes was the stipulation that both the WWE and Intercontinental Championships would be up for grabs leaving the winner with supreme claim to lead WWE into the next decade. All right, now it's your turn to try and shock all the little Hulkamaniacs out there and try to beat Hogan at WrestleMania 6. struggle like this wasn't something the WWE Universe was used to. After the clothesline sent him crashing to the floor, Hogan appeared to hurt his knee, the last thing he needed. Ultimate Warrior was here to prove that his hype was real. Warrior was going to run right through Hogan at this pace.
feet while Hogan stays down. The Hulkster was running out of magic. Could he find one more iconic comeback? Hogan had been out-muscled by opponents before, but they were usually seven feet tall or 400-plus pounds. See, Faree gets flattened, and now there's no one to count falls.
As Warrior lifted Hogan up, things were looking perilous for the Hulkster. Now it was just up to the Ultimate Warrior to fulfill his destiny. Could he defeat Hulk Hogan?
WWE.